Hi, I'm Joey Roberts here with Matt Sullivan. You can see that Rep Prentice and Jack Ablett are not here. Midterms are in full swing and they have academic obligations. But they say the show must go on. TSM football coming at you. This Saturday, 4 0 Trinity hosts 2 and 2 Bowden. Although, don't let Bowden's record fool you. Both their losses by a total of only four points, as they lost to Amherst by one and then Tufts by three in overtime. This Saturday could make or break either team's season. My focus of the game is on the front seven gap assignments. I have no doubt that the hard hitters up front will have success shutting down the Bowden rushing attack, just as they did with the Tufts rushing attack last week. However, if they don't retain their gap assignments every time the dual threat quarterback Oliver Kell drops back, then it could be a long day for the Bantam secondary. My player to watch this Saturday is number three, sophomore kicker Tim Costello, who is four for five this season in field goals, but four for four within 40 yards. In a game that's forecasted for rain, where the offenses may struggle, the kicker could make the difference in this one, and I see Tim Costello stepping up. My player to watch for is senior cornerback Mike O'Connor. A leading historian down in Washington, D.C. tells me that Mike's going to have a big game against a high-flying passing attack that features quarterback Oliver Kell and leading NESCAC receiver Pat Noon. The source told me that Mike's not exactly a paper player, meaning that it's his instincts that has him on the field rather than his combine numbers. This week could be a huge test for the Bantam secondary. All right, Sully, so next cack in the battle of one and three teams, Colby at Hamilton. I'm going to say Hamilton wins this one at home and goes two and three. I'll go with the home team, Hamilton. How about Wesleyan at Amherst? Amherst stays perfect in this one, goes five and oh. Five and oh, Amherst as well. Let's go Middlebury at winless Bates. I'm going to have to say Bates stays winless in this one and go with Middlebury. I'll go with Middlebury as well. How about a very intriguing matchup in the NESCAC, Tufts at Williams. Now, Tufts could pull off the upset in this one, but I'm going to have to say Williams is just too strong and they're at home. Williams wins this one. I'm going to go with the road underdog Tufts. I feel that they're going to pull this one out. Finally, Bowden at Trinity. Now, Trinity might struggle in this matchup, but I think it's going to come down to one field goal at the end by Tim Costello. They pull it off 17-14. to If it rains like the forecast says it will, I think both offenses will be less explosive. I'll go with Trinity 17, Bowden 13. You've got it all bumming over my head. Looking through Bowden's roster online, I noticed that there were no California or Florida kids on the roster. Now, that could be the Bowden coaches not giving any love to those states, or I think it personally could be that they don't really want to go up to Maine. Remember to come out to the game at 1230. they got to protect the Coop. Reporting from the Coop, I'm Joey Roberts, TSN. Oh, one second. Jack Abbott just texted in his score. He thinks that Trinity is going to win 30-21 to here at the Coop.